So today we want to talk about our life and how we got married without dating. And it's interesting, we were just reminiscing on our time before we got married, what it looked like and where we are now. And <clears throat> those of you who are following our journey and you know, seeing how we've been sharing with you the videos of how to's and giving you some tools, I guess, how to create a great connection, how to marry a person and um, find the right person that's on the same mission and vision. And it's been an interesting journey for us and we were talking about the painful parts of some things that we remember from the times when we were getting to know each other and then uh, um, a great also great things you know and so we wanted to share some things with you because from our videos it might look like that we are always having things together, everything is going well, and for the most part, it is. And at the same time, we had a lot of hard work in the last almost four years of our marriage now. And actually four years since we started connecting. Yeah, yeah. So, you want to share anything that's kind of been coming up and yeah yeah there's there's a lot of uh memories from uh, the early period of marriage that was it, it definitely super good uh, don't get me wrong but there was a, co a couple things that were kind of painful mm -hmm. um but when you're in the middle of it, it well, when I was in the middle of it, I didn't really think of it as such. I was just like, okay, you know, par for the course. I'll do whatever it takes. This is part of the journey. You know, you just embrace the challenges and you move through it, you know, and no excuses. Mm -hmm. Time to level up and man up and roll up my sleeves and take mm -hmm. responsibility. Mm -hmm. And uh, so it's not uncommon for newly married couples to have an extra level, uh, extra amount of triggers to work through as you kind of get to know each other better especially with us we didn't really date in person you know face to face in the tr traditional sense of it and they did a lot of communication online mm -hmm. um and so we did a lot of getting to know each other after marriage and i would do that all over again probably just as fast if maybe not faster if i was experienced the number one thing that's better now, the longer we get married, is the deeper the trust factor. Mm -hmm. And even if we make a, a, a selfish decision or blooper mm -hmm. that is not honoring to, to Irina, for example, she trusts my heart enough to realize that, you know, it's, it's not the end of the world. Yeah. So you want to share more about that? Yeah, so... First of all, we want to go back to our before marriage, if it's okay, and then I'll mm -hmm. share more. The reason why, because, you know, a lot of people, when they hear our story, they're like, oh my gosh, you went fast track. That is just, wow. How, how is it even possible? And, you know, for us, we got to know each other as friends for the first four months of us connecting. And then when we made that decision um, of, okay, this we want to take that further and go into a relationship, we already knew that taking a step forward into a relationship, it is going towards marriage. So it's not that we said, okay, let's date and, you know, find out because we lived in different states. So we couldn't really get to know each other in person person we only met each other once in person and we had a great time together as friends and then after that we decided okay let's have a relationship now so why did we by relationship 
more intentionally focused towards or driving towards towards marriage. marriage. Yeah, really. So it's not or even getting engaged. Yeah, it's not even dating anymore, you know. So we never really dated. And so but how did we know that this is the right person, you know? We took some a great amount of time to do the work of figuring out what we want in the spouse, what we want in marriage, what we want and individually before we shared it with each other, what is our mission in life, why we're here and what is our purpose here? What is our vision for life, mm -hmm. right? And then comparing those things, talking about topics that usually are not talked about. You know, we talked about like, how do you celebrate holidays? What is important to you in adventure? How do you do finances, food? How, what do you eat and why? And the purpose and of asking those questions was, was all part of the process of, of understanding our own vision and mission for life. Yeah. And just checking to see if, is you too, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Are we on the same page here? And I don't even know that we had this list of hundreds of things to go through. It was, we didn't. I mean, we, we, we identified that our overarching life mission and vision was, mm -hmm. was very, very similar. And what we discovered in that process is a lot of the smaller details fell into line as well with that. Yeah. That created an excitement of discovery mm -hmm. as the longer we got we were married we were fascinated over how many things we discovered that we had in common that we had no clue we had in common that yeah. we're on the same page on but we cut to the chase instead of talking about all the little details that a lot of people talk about and to try to figure out if they're a good match they're talking mm -hmm. about all the little things that might not be even important that really aren't that like yeah, it's not that important compared to identifying your identifying your overarching life mission and vision first, and, and fundamental, and then things. trickling down. Mm -hmm. And that's why we were able to get married so fast, is because okay, we made the decision up here. The details will work themselves out. Mm -hmm. Instead of trying to figure out all the little things and trying to work our way up to a point of elusive confidence of that this is going to work or a good match yeah so i would compare it to a house you know we had a foundation that was the same we had the framework of the house that was the same and the roof was you know so all of the things like a skeleton maybe you would say or a structure of the house and then we would add to it as we go in the marriage and it's actually fun discovery before marriage and then now it's fun to create it and constantly tweaking it because we're all changing we're growing independently from each other and together as a couple mm -hmm. but so yeah in the beginning of our marriage we were actually dating we start dating when we got married yeah and we still to go on weekly dates yeah we're still dating so and the triggers were very interesting. You know, I was, I mean, I lived by myself for a long time. Or if I lived with my family, they're my family, right? You're used to your family, so you don't notice certain things. But when you live with a different person and how they do things might be completely different from your family. So I would, I, I was getting triggered a lot by different things because it was different. And then learning to trust you. And then we were working out through those triggers. And also triggers not because of him, but it, because of something that I had from who knows when. It was a print left on my soul and something triggered me, reminded me of that. So we went through a lot of time. Our first year was probably first one or two years was the hardest one with not the hardest i should say we worked the hardest we just, had, we just processed through more things in the first two years yeah it's not that it was hard i mean marriage was great it was wonderful it was yeah delightfully wonderful yeah marriage is is exactly yeah. what you said it's beautiful it's you know i think the 
the mindset we came in with into the marriage both of us that we're not only willing to but we are rolling up our sleeves and we're going to work we're going to do everything we need to do to be the best spouse we can be to help each other grow right and become one together and grow our marriage and create a beautiful marriage that maybe we only dreamed about never even seen it and with anyone else which is really what we're been experiencing and it's been it's been beautiful to be married to a best friend mm -hmm. and and so you know that's a great closing thought is um we hear a lot of singles say oh we're just friends mm -hmm. we're not in a relationship we're not dating okay pause right there that's actually where it's supposed to start yeah and that's where it will continue on into marriage you're married you ultimately want to marry your best friend mm -hmm. and they just happen to be lovers and you're committed to each other for life mm -hmm. and but that's really what it is yeah it's it's i don't like to use the the term roommates with benefits um because the roommates are not that close. <laughs> right. We're not just roommates. But in, in a higher sense of the term, if I could 10x that into the realm of speaking positively, mm -hmm. it is like having a roommate that's your best friend, your lovers, and you're committed to each other for life through thick and thin, raising mm -hmm. a family. Mm -hmm. uh, so all of the, th what are, the point I'm making is all of the things that singles often use as to dismiss or mm -hmm. to relieve any pressure or expectations that other people might impose upon them from their relationship mm -hmm. with the opposite gender. Yeah. Well, that's actually, all of those things are actually just part of the process. And this actually uh, uh, contains an element of what it would actually be. Yeah. You know, uh, the other thought I had, actually, there's so many thoughts popping up now. You know, the the reason why our marriage is successful, first of all, we chose each other and we continue to choose each other. And we chose each other because our missions were aligning and our vision is aligning. So we're both coachable and teachable and we want to do work to achieve what we're here to do. Right, so we're gonna do hard things. We're gonna go through walls and move mountains and do hard things because that's who we are, right? So choosing the right partner for your life, for marriage is very important. So that's number one. Number two is um, we are not here to just benefit from each other and marriage but also add to it and help each other. So, you know, in that, Jesse helps me become a better person. And hopefully I, I do the same for you. Oh yeah, a wife will cause you to man up if you're a man. <laughs> yeah. And then we dream together and we don't crush each other's dreams mm. and visions the opposite we encourage each other and um to to actually go after it and achieve it and have it so uh, maintaining marriage for the long term one of the uh, not that we've been married that super long but one of the th things that i've come to realize is that you have to stay up to date as you continue to grow and develop as individuals mm -hmm. you have to stay up to date and current and upgrade every so often it's just no different with from, each other yeah with each other it's no Dreams. different from a, a, a new software update on your computer or phone you, you want to get to stay constantly up to date on on each other's dreams goals needs and desires mm -hmm. and be, if you don't you lose track and lose sight of each other and start drifting apart mm -hmm. so it's just a simple thing of asking questions and and staying current on on mm -hmm. on what's important to each other yeah and flowing flowing it it, it, it keeps keeps you from as, away from assumptions that end mm -hmm. up not being beneficial yeah and then the other thing is you know when you are in the process of getting to know each other to see if it's the right person 
drop your expectations. You know, you can't really get to know another person for real if you have certain expectations for them and they are not fitting into those expectations. Then you're really deciding if the person is fitting into the mold that you created for that person that you want to be with. And then that person will never be able to live up to your expectations. But if you drop them, you will be able to discover the person who they are and let them open up and bloom and feel uh, safe in that connection. And where the safety is, right, the connection is created even deeper and there's freedom in that. Yeah. There, there are things about expectations that I can sense that some of you watching this video will probably think this. Uh, well, if you have no expectations, then, you know, where are my standards? Where are my, my mm -hmm. goals? Mm -hmm. Well, there is a thing of, you know, having the expectation of, of marrying somebody who shares your beliefs, uh, right. your, your spiritual beliefs, for example. So it's values, really. Versus... Yeah, we're not talking value. Yes. And as, a, as a person, when we say expectations, we yeah. like have no expectations in so far as love, honor, and respect mm -hmm. towards each. Uh, yeah, that, that's, that's a topic for I another video. I love that. Yeah, so we should talk about that in another video because it is an important topic. And, yeah. and it could be swing both ways. Yeah. I, yeah. The biggest thing we would say is have no expectations when you're out building friendships and practicing mm -hmm. getting to know people for the purpose of finding a spouse. Mm -hmm. Don't have expectations in loving on people. There should yeah. be no expectations to qualify who you want to love and honor and respect. That's really what we're coming down to. Mm. We, the, the high road is to love, honor, respect everyone you meet Mm -hmm. No matter what, without expectations, just because they're worthy as a human being that needs needs love, honor, and respect. Yeah. And it's it's this it's this concept of do unto others you would have others do unto you. Mm -hmm. so what it really comes down to when we're saying that the whole thing about have no expectations. Yeah. There are things that you want to expect. Obviously, Absolutely. if you yeah. want a spouse that has the same mission, who shares your spiritual beliefs. Mm -hmm. You know, what, but that comes more to the realm of what do you want? Yeah. That's Define what you want values. and then you'll have a template to look for somebody that matches you in that. Right. So yeah. I just want to that. clarify that so that we don't have any confusion out there. That's so good. Hope that makes yeah. sense. And, you know, the, the very last thing I want to share is that we've developed a routines and the rituals of connection. Daily devotions with each other like yeah. same as we have daily devotions with god we have devotions with each other and then kind of throughout the day we have things that we like to do to connect with each other and also to give each other space to have freedom to do whatever we need to do because we both can get super focused in um in on things that we're doing and that's okay you know as long as you um, know each other and know what to um give each other space in right and mm -hmm. acceptance and all that so anyways that's where we are now and just reminiscing kind of the last four years and going through that we decided to make this video for you and kind of give you an update in a way and again the marriage has been amazing and beautiful we're super blessed actually every every year has been better than the pri previous years mm -hmm. so to those who have told me i'll give it five years and then uh, come back once reality sets in well reality ha has been setting in and it's good yeah so if it hasn't been good for you um then well <laughs> what can you do to make it good <laughs> Oh, where does the responsibility lie to make it good? Yeah. Um, the more we can take responsibility for, the more power we have to change things. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we actually have to take responsibility for things for things that we don't feel like is our fault. Our and you know we're not to blame. Well, do you want to do you want to change it or do you just want to keep blame shifting? You know, mm -hmm. um, you, Jesus, he took the blame for you if you're a believer. So go do unto others as you would have others do unto you, right? Okay. So. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> All right, guys.
This has been long enough. We'll see you in the next one.